the ones that go in the period. Jake Allen had that one bouncing on go in the period. Okay, one minute. MB Restoration experience staff is there for you 24 hours a day. Did you know that at some post homeowners will experience a fire or water disaster? MB Restoration's experienced staff will work with you and your insurance company to get things back to normal as quickly as possible. MB Restoration. Night or day, we're a phone call away. Visit MB Restoration on the internet at noblast.com. When you're considering a reverse mortgage at Wells Fargo, we're with you. If you're a homeowner at least 62 years of age, one oh one to go. We're in the you convert your home equity to tax-free loan proceeds. Contact a reverse mortgage consultant today. Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far. Consult the tax at Wells Fargo Home Mortgage, a division of Wells Fargo Bank N.A. is an equal housing lender. Wells Fargo Bank N.A. for FDIC. In Peoria, 309-681-3000. That's 681-3000. Hi, this is Colt McRae of the Peoria Rivermen, and you're listening to 96.5 ESPN. It was an eventful first of action and a Rivermen 1-0 lead after 20 minutes of play, despite the fact that their last shot came with 5 minutes and 13 seconds just gone by in the first period. Nathan Oystrich's goal, the only one of the first period, and after that, Milwaukee was on the power play for what seemed like the entire period. Della Rovere for elbowing, Dave Spina for interference, Anthony Nigro for delay of game. Those last two overlap just a little bit. And so lots of power from Milwaukee. They are 0 for 3. The Rivermen still have a minute and 10 seconds of power play time left when the second period begins trying to add to their 1-0 edge despite the 11-2 advantage in shots for Milwaukee. Well, since it is the last day of 2010, we thought we'd take a listen back to Brian Munt's conversation with Darren Hadar, who at this time last year was named the player of the decade in the American Hockey League by the Hockey News, and uh, he's got a, a funny take on it, but uh, it, it is just unbelievable the career that uh, Darren Hadar has had and is still having. Back with the Chicago Wolves, and he started with this very same Milwaukee Admirals team, and he talks about that with our friend Brian Munt on the CJOB Radio Network. Uh, it's definitely a great honor, but uh, I think nobody's last in the league as long as I have. <laughs> uh, but seriously, I, I think that's a, it's a tremendous honor, and I'm, there's a lot of great players in the league and gone through this league, so to be named that, that's uh, it's definitely I'll, I'll, something I'll remember. Started back for you in 02 with the Milwaukee Admirals. That's your longest tenured team so far. What do you remember about playing at the Bradley Center? Uh, I had great times in Milwaukee. It, uh, it's where I learned to play in this league. Uh, played under some great coaches, and I think they taught me a lot over the years. Todd Richards and uh, Claude Noel, they taught me a lot about uh, being a professional and, and what it takes to, to play in this league. You came through the college ranks. What was that transition like that first year? I think for myself, it came pretty, I want to say it came pretty easy. Uh, I don't, and I don't mean that the wrong way. The first year, uh, I had a t tough training camp in Nashville. I really didn't get anything, so I think that added to the fire for me. It made me want to be a better and uh, right from the start there, I was fortunate that we had a couple injuries and I got inserted into the lineup and played pretty well to start the season. And I think that year I learned a lot. I had a lot of older guys that showed me the ropes and showed me how to play um, and, and what it took to be consistent through 80 games. Who stands out for you for your time there as an admiral? As, uh, as older guys, definitely Tony Herkus and Brad Tiley. 